Celebrity dogs. They're known for stealing scenes from their less exciting, and let's face it, less adorable, human colleagues with a simple waggle of their tails or flutter of their big eyes. But are movie dogs complete divas on set? Does newfound fame send them down a shame spiral of depression and hard doggy drugs just like their child star counterparts? Or do they retreat from the spotlight eager to live a normal life once the initial rush of exposure has passed? Let's find out. Forest, Hachi, a dog's tail. According to the blog The Daily Onigiri, Hachiko is an Akita who's the most famous dog in Japan. He waited for his owner in the same spot every day at Shibuya Station and continued to do so for 10 years following his death, leading a statue to be built there in his honor. As producer Vicky Shigakuni Wong explains in her blog, she named her own Shiba after the famous dog after visiting the statue. His death in 2004 inspired the making of Hachi, a dog's tail. Several dogs were required to portray Hachiko. Although Akita dogs were chosen to stay true to Hachiko's story, their growth spurts meant that mostly smaller Shibas were utilized for the shoot. Wong notes that even the animal trainers themselves had never worked with this breed before. As the dogs are very independent thinking and star Richard Gere was reportedly anxious about meeting his canine co-stars. According to Wong's blog, after the movie wrapped, Forrest, one of the dog actors, was gifted to a man named Joe who had recently lost his own Akita. Breeder Kathy Kaufman explains, Joe was Akita-less and the first day he and his family met Forrest, we knew it was a perfect match. Angel, Beverly Hills Chihuahua there's something strangely charming about Beverly Hills Chihuahua, the 2008 Disney family comedy about the pampered pooch who gets dog-napped. We're happy to report that the most pampered Chihuahua in Hollywood is still alive and kicking, even taking part in the two sequels. In an interview on the O oh Behave show on Pet Life Radio, trainer Mike Alexander explained how they had about 50 Chihuahuas on set at any one time. But their little angel was, of course, Angel, who plays Chloe, the main character. Disney had a very specific idea of what they wanted her to be, and they found it in Angel. Alexander described her as a big dog in a little dog's body. Alexander later revealed that he adopted her after the shoot. If that's not a seal of approval for a dog actor, then what is? Cosmo – Beginners Mike Mills' critically celebrated and hugely personal 2010 movie Beginners is regularly featured on best-of list of go-to LGBTQ movies. Dog star Arthur, portrayed by a pooch named Cosmo, is so integral to the plot, he even features prominently on the film's poster. In order to capture that realistic pet-owner relationship, trainer Matilda Decagny told the New York Times that she slathered bacon grease on star Christopher Plummer's face, then encouraged an eager Cosmo to lick it off. Cosmo was also reportedly painted with brown spots, so he'd more closely resemble Mills' real-life Jack Russell Terrier. Following the shoot, star Ewan McGregor was so enamored with his co-star that he wanted to take the little guy home himself. McGregor explained that, unfortunately, his wife is allergic to dogs and cats, so Cosmo was returned to his rightful owner, Decagny. Carlos, Max The movie Max is kind of like a doggy version of American Sniper. It's described by Yahoo Movies as a coming-of-age tale about a young boy who inherits a military dog after his brother dies on the front lines in Afghanistan. The lead actor was a Belgian shepherd named Carlos, who wasn't even two years old at the time of filming. According to trainer Mark Forbes, none of the canine actors had any experience prior to the shoot and were located following a nationwide search. Director Boaz Yakin told USA Today that Carlos had pure star quality, but the only problem was that Carlos was very temperamental. Although his IMDb lists just that one credit at the time of this video, the dog had such a personality that the filmmakers ended up basing a lot of Max's character on him. Now that's real star power. Kinsey, Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues the breakout star of the comedy hit Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, wasn't Will Ferrell as much as it was his beloved pet Baxter. The legendary canine who was unfairly punted by Jack Black spoke fluent Spanish and ate a whole wheel of cheese. Sadly, the little fellow passed away before he could steal the show in the sequel, leading a pooch named Quince to take the stage in his place. In an interview with The Atlantic, trainer Raymond Beale revealed how Quince was plucked from relative obscurity after being rescued from a supermarket parking lot. But the canine newcomer took to his new role with grace, working the junket circuit and even barking in response to journalist questions. Baxter is such a pivotal character that director Adam McKay even floated the idea of creating a doggy-focused PG spin-off. Wow, from supermarket to starring role. Leo, underdog. Lemon Beagle Leo, who portrayed classic character Underdog in 2007, is arguably the most famous dog on this list. Or at the very least, he's had the most successful show business career. Trainer Boon Nar was reportedly unsure about Leo at first, telling Visual Hollywood he was overweight and as round as he was long, and he was completely out of control. However, thanks to his great personality and a strict dog boot camp, Leo was quickly whipped into shape in time for shooting. The Lemon Beagle cutie has since gone on to significant doggy fame, including starring in a Trifexis commercial. Not bad for a previously plump little fellow. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.